Hello and welcome back to lesson 24. We're going to be looking at companies, okay, one in specific, specific, and we're going to be talking about the present simple and the continuous as well, okay. And of course, we're going to have a look at the kind of the past language because it's something that happened in the past that reflects in the present and it's ongoing to the future. Okay, so the first company I put here was the ExxonMobil. Uh, which was founded by John D. Rockefeller in 1882, okay? So it's one of the first major companies on the oil and gas industry. Now, when I went to their website, I found it really interesting because every single company, they always put what they believe in, okay? What is their goals, what they want to achieve, uh, why, you know, why sh they should inspire others. So this is, you know, this company is no different. And once you read that then there is another text about the person who founded it okay and what i want you to think about after you have this little information of course if you want to expand on this information go home read some books okay read some articles search on these people it's interesting to know and um I want you to think about good, uh, not just this company, but great companies that has a long history. Because one thing is to open something, and you know, so many people sometimes want to become entrepreneurs. They open something, they can't continue, they close, or or something happens. Anyway, but there are some people who you know who saw a future, who saw a great opportunity in the uh, in the industry. So they said, "No, I'm going to give my blood and soul." For this to happen okay all my sweats are going to this my life is going to this and honestly they do make a difference um, it's very good now after this there is a there is a few questions in which I want you to ask yourself okay are you a leader or a follower as a person not just as a professional but as a person were you born a leader okay or are you better to follow um, instructions are you better at team playing um, uh, things you need to do to become a successful business leader in life. Okay, this is uh, this is just a list, of course, of some successful people that states this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's all of this, but it's the type of language I want you to have a look at. So, here's the first one: be fearless. What is fearless? Fearless. Remember, fear is to be scared. Uh, when you ha when you fear something and remember we studied less so anything that's less it means it's not that so fearless don't be scared uh, understand finance grow as a leader uh, use your leverage uh, acquire partners having the right attitude showing gratitude uh, staying healthy keeping the right friends uh, and the uh, knowing the importance of family okay so this is important because uh, some people they just want to work 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 they work their whole lives and then you know who am I gonna share it with who I'm gonna spend my last day with so this is important and uh, the next page um, I have a few questions for yourself uh, so the first one is would you open your own business and become and um, become self-employed okay so this is a question i would like to ask yourselves or would you prefer specializing in a specific area you know by becoming an engineer or doctor or something like that an actress actor singer um but would you open um your own business to do this and then you have some questions that you can ask yourself as well should i start my own business it's not the only question you should be asking yourself. Should I start my own business? Uh, once you have asked that question to yourself, you have many more other questions to ask for yourself, you know, to think about. So, how much cash will I have at risk? Hmm. Or you could say, how much money do I have to invest? Or if you don't, how much money do I need to invest? Okay, so this is the amount that I'm going to get to invest. Um, how much time will it consume? Now, depending on your routine, some businesses, they will take you from Monday to Monday, from dusk to dawn, or, you know, depending on what you want to create, it's from 6 a.m. and going to 1 a.m. 
it, it really depends you know you got you, it depends what you want to do so there is no time for this it depends on your priority how much energy will it take oh all of it probably all of it uh, do I currently have other obligations that will prevent me from giving the business a hundred percent now this is important would there be a much better time for me to start a business now uh, other than now uh, what are my alternatives if I start if I don't start my own business now? What are the chances of success? Uh, there is, I remember have you ever seen Titanic? Um, I think it was Leonardo DiCaprio's phrase Jack Jack Dawson. He said when you have nothing you have nothing to lose Yeah, he said that to Fabrizio if I'm not mistaken and I've, you know, since uh, since uh, as a child, I used to love that movie. I always thought that well, when you have nothing, you have nothing to lose. Therefore, the no is already guaranteed. So work for the yes. Okay, so you know, guarantee your yes because no is certain. It's for sure. So if you don't try, you'll never know. Um, next one. Uh, can I test run the business part time before quitting my job? Eh. E, uh, uh. Well, it depends really it depends what you're doing uh, should I choose between a higher risk or a lower risk business well interesting question it depends is it a startup is it a franchising what is it suppose my businesses provides less income than I expected how long should I stick with it well until you you know if you have an aim get you know get working on your on your aim set yourself tasks you know uh if you're not doing as good as you should then why not to look around and see where you're going wrong and fix it next one it's easy to say right but it's easier to do when you want to um if the business doesn't work out how easily will i be able to pick myself up and move along to the next um project well, this is interesting because I believe the same way you did it, you can do it again and again and again and how many times necessary. So it really depends on you. Are you fast? Are you slow? Do you wake up like, mm, I gotta do this, 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 this and just tick it off and then go sleep thinking yeah, I've done it all. I mean, today my day was productive. Or do you wake up like, oh, I think today I will do this. I will do that. I mean, you know, it depends on you. And here, um, you have like a little ta a little table as well of risk and reward. Okay, so sometimes it's more risky than it's uh, rewarding, but it really de really depends. Uh, and here I have you know some things, uh, a little bit of opinion of people who open their own businesses, and I'd like for you to read that. Okay. Uh, and then after you've read all of that, uh, I want you to give your own examples, your own uh, viewings on businesses, on people who has their own businesses. I and mean, if you would have your own businesses, uh, are you willing to take the risk or are you just going looking at the reward? Okay, because it's good to look at a whole set. You know, it's like, you know, it comes with a package, it comes with the full thing. So when you ask God for a gift, it's like, oh, I, I want a wife, I want a husband. And then, you know, I asked for someone blonde with blue eyes and uh, rosy cheeks, you know, just like the ones you see on Disney, just rosy cheeks, something so magical. But that person comes with a package, you know, it's the full set. Is the annoying, the jealousy, it's the maybe burning the rice kind of kind of situation. It's just the full package. It's not that perfect. So once you um, want the reward, you want that, you can get it. But, you know, it will come with all the risks. It will come with all of the consequences as well. So it really depends how ready you are for them. Um, guys, well done. Uh, so make sure you speak a lot. This is a conversation class, okay? So get your point across. Ask for, uh, for information. Ask for opinions and give your opinions as well. Next lesson, lesson 25, we're going to look at present perfect with society demands, the demands of society. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye.